Uh, here's a tool that we that we call a partnership plan, and this is basically at the most basic level, it's a table. Okay, and the rows are the individual steps between the moment in time where you give this document, this table. Uh, by the way, let me just pause. This table you could either show as a slide, just like it is now in a, in a presentation to a prospect. You could have it as a standalone page that you print out and hand to someone. It could be the last page in a proposal. Um, so this is something you would give to a prospect or show to them, and it's just basically a table, right? Now every row on the table is a step that will be completed between the day that you show this for the first time and either the prospect purchasing from you or going live with your, your product. When you first create the partnership plan, you're going to create this on your own. So you're going to make some assumptions and th these are not only steps that you have to go through on your side, but these are steps that you think that they will have to go through because it's a partnership plan, so both parties are in this plan. It's not just you, the, the salesperson. So some of this you're having to make assumptions, and, and you're going to put dates, and you're going to put owners, and you're going to put a column for the status. Here's some verbiage to use with this tool. If you'd like to move forward, this is what our partnership plan looks like. These are some of the steps that would need to be taken between now and you getting up and running. Based on what we've discussed today, are you interested in moving forward with this plan? So you're not necessarily saying, are you interested in moving forward with purchasing our product? You're saying, are you interested in moving forward with this plan? So you're kind of closing them on the overall plan. Now, certainly uh, you can get pushback and they, could, they might say, well, I can't give you a commitment to that today or we're, we don't know or no, we're not. Okay, so if they're not ready to commit to the plan, you can just take a step back and your fallback position can be, okay, no problem at all. Do you have enough interest at least to agree and make a commitment to move to the next step? So you can see here in this table right here, there's two completed steps. Like today we're at the presentation demonstration, the next step's discovery meeting. So you can say, are you, are you at least able to commit to the discovery meeting? Uh, and here's a date for when we could do that. Um, you know, you basically get them to commit to the next step. So they're not committing to the whole plan. You're just closing on that next step. Regardless of whether you get their commitment to the whole plan or just the next step, you still need to go through and validate the partnership plan and build it, finalize it with the, the prospect. So great. Okay, well, what we need to do is, uh, real quick, do these steps and time estimates look correct and acceptable to you? And basically, you're looking for, you know, do, do they have anything to add? Maybe there was a step that is on their side in terms of a committee or um, someone needs to sign off or proof of concept or something. So you want to get them to add anything that needed to the, to the plan, adjust any dates, change any owners, and build this with them. Uh, a great way, if you have this up in a slide deck, just like now, a great thing would be to, like, escape out of the slide format and actually type in the plan, adding rows and making changes, uh, and build it and get the prospect to agree to the plan so that you've all you both have um, bought off on it. You know, it's a partnership plan. You're, you're partners. One of the powerful things about this plan is not only does this just in general the overall concept make it easier to close and increase the odds of you being able to close at the end, creating by it creating visibility and accountability and all this stuff. It's also a tool that you can go back to when the prospect is waffling later after your, this meeting when you agree to the plan. For example, let's say you agree to the plan, then you check back in and you're trying to schedule a follow-up meeting that's on the plan, and the prospect says, oh, you know, can we push that meeting out a month? We're just slammed over here. Well, here's a response to what you could say to that. Uh, sure, you know, I tell you what, we can definitely delay that meeting but according to our agreed upon partnership plan, you want to have the system implemented by January 1st. And if we delay the meeting to next month, that will likely impact your ability to be up and running by January 1st. So either A, we need to adjust the plan and change it to maybe February 1st, or we need to not push that meeting off a month. I mean, you push it out a week or whatever. We need to adjust the plan, so which, which one do you want to do? 
So as you can see here, the partnership plan gives you a lot more like leverage and accountability and control uh, while you're trying to move the prospect through your sales process and closing the prospect.